Arizona pain relief. Scorpion stings can be painful, but in most cases, they will not cause any major complications. What a person should do after a scorpion sting depends on the type of scorpion and the symptoms that follow. If a person experiences any of the following symptoms after a scorpion sting, they need immediate medical attention. Difficulty breathing, drooling, difficulty swallowing, seizures or muscle jerking, hives and swelling over the body, difficulty standing, unconsciousness. The only scorpion in the United States that has venom potent enough to cause serious complications is the bark scorpion, centuroids. It is 2 to 3 inches long and either yellow, brown, or orange. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, experiencing a sting from the bark scorpion can cause life threatening complications. Although people can find scorpions in several areas of the U.S., the bark scorpion tends to reside in southwestern states. Keep reading for more information on how to treat a scorpion sting. What to do in most instances scorpion bites do not cause any major complications. If a person thinks that they have experienced a scorpion sting, they should wash the sting site with water and soap. They can also call Poison Control for guidance on 800 222 1222. The CDC r e c o m m e n d that adults take the following steps if a scorpion stings them. Contact a healthcare provider or poison control for instructions and advice related to the sting. Apply ice to the sting site to help with pain and swelling. Remain calm and relaxed. Avoid taking any sort of sedative. According to Seattle Children's Hospital, if a scorpion stings a child, what a parent or caregiver should do depends on their reaction to the sting. For example, they recommend self care if mild symptoms, such as pain, numbness, or tingling, occur only around the site of the sting. However, if a parent or caregiver is concerned, or if the child's last tetanus shot was more than 10 years ago, they should inform a doctor of the sting. They may also want to call a doctor if skin flushing starts to spread after 24 hours from the sting. A person should call 911 if an adult or child experiences the following muscle jerking or spasms, difficulty swallowing, drooling, leg weakness, unconsciousness, difficulty breathing, swelling, or hives over the body if in doubt. A person should call 911 or seek emergency help immediately. According to Poison Control, Those with the highest risk of developing severe symptoms are young children. A 2019 article adds that older adults are also at risk of developing severe symptoms. Treatment treatment varies based on the species of scorpion that stung the person. However, if in doubt, a person should seek medical care as soon as possible. For mild symptoms, such as pain and numbness at the site of the sting, a person may not need much care. They may wish to perform self care that involves cleaning the area around the sting, applying a cold pack or compress, taking ibuprofen or acetaminophen for pain relief. The Food and Drug Administration FDA, suggests elevating the affected body part so that it is at the same level as the heart. However, if a more dangerous species, such as a bark scorpion, stings a person, treatment will vary depending on the severity of sting. Grade 1 This means that pain, Swelling, and other symptoms are limited to the area of the sting. This only requires pain management. Grade 2 There is pain and some paralysis at or near the site and closer to where the limb connects to the body. Treatment often includes pain management and may involve anti anxiety medication. Grade 3 This can include all the symptoms of grade 2, alongside flailing limbs and an arching back, skeletal neuromuscular dysfunction, or increased saliva production. Blurry vision, and rapid movement of the tongue, cranial nerve issues. Treatment includes the use of pain relievers, anxiety medications, and anti venom. Grade 4 A person will experience both skeletal neuromuscular dysfunction and cranial nerve issues, as well as organ failure, hyperthermia, or pulmonary edema. Anti venom is critical for people experiencing these symptoms. However, according to poison control, Many hospitals do not stock the anti venom, and it can be very expensive. Symptoms for most stings Symptoms will consist of mostly local reactions to the sting. Fewer than 10% of all scorpion stings will cause severe symptoms. 
young children and older adults are most likely to develop life-threatening reactions to a sting. Around 85% of bark scorpion stings cause only a mild, local reaction. About 10% cause waves of pain in the legs or arms, and around 5% cause serious symptoms. Mild symptoms of a scorpion sting may include tingling, pain, or numbness at the site of the sting limited or no swelling limited or no skin flushing tingling, pain, or numbness that travels up the arm or leg symptoms that typically only last for about 24 hours if serious symptoms occur, they will develop within 2 to 3 hours of the sting. The first serious symptom may be rapid eye movements or muscle twitching. Other serious symptoms and complications may include jerky eye movements, blurry vision, muscle twitching, difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, slurred speech, medical news today, resource virus spread and climate change. A West Nile virus case study COVID-19 has made the entire world painfully aware of the terrible power that viruses can wield. Learn how climate change impacts the spread of other viruses, such as West Nile virus, in our feature article. Complications According to Poison Control, there has not been a reported death from a scorpion sting for nearly 50 years. However, complications can occur. If a person has reached the grade 4 classification scale, they may experience high body temperatures, pulmonary edema, multiple organ failure, rhabdomyolysis, which occurs when the muscle tissues break down and release a protein called myoglobin into the blood risk factors and prevention people in the U.S. who are most at risk of a bark scorpion sting live or work in southwestern areas of the country, including the following states. Arizona, Utah, Texas, Nevada, California, New Mexico.